Here's our fifth dance lesson. Get the personal stuff right. You know, I once worked with a, a man who's tremendously successful, uh, very, very capable guy uh, in the financial community, and he was famous for his work ethic. And he would uh, work long, long hours, and then every Sunday he went into the office and worked late on Sunday night. Um, he was totally devoted to the company, and everybody thought that was just great, you know, his legendary commitment, and, but he wasn't very home very much. And I thought, well, shoot, I, anybody can do that. I mean, I could do that. That'd be easy just to have one dimension to my life and have that be Caterpillar, but that's not living life. So you've got to get the, the, the leaders I've always looked up to are those that manage, you know, to climb the career ladder, but they also have a personal life. Because one of these days, that man is going to retire. And when he does retire, he's just going to be a normal old guy. Uh, and what is, he, what is he going to have as his foundation? So get that personal stuff right. One thing I think about here is your whole person. So think about your physical health. It's important if, you're not, if you don't keep yourself physically healthy, then you're not going to be able to have the stamina and the energy that you need to travel and to do your job. Think about your mental health. Uh, that's important, and a big part of that, I think we all know, is friendships. I have a number of friends, including my, my exercise lady, Betsy, and her dog, and a, a number of, of friends, and I go out of my way. I can't do a lot with them. I try to get double-duty friends. I probably wouldn't admit this to them, though they probably know it. If, they, if it works out, like, okay, I need a workout partner, then I'll make that person as a friend, you know, to kind of find a way to smush those things together. So my two closest friends, one's a running partner, the other one is my workout partner. But that's an important part of life, and maybe you're, or maybe you're involved in a church group. Uh, faith is an important part of many people's lives to make sure you get your hierarchy of needs met. Uh, stress relief is important, and my, uh, my coaching here is don't wait for the stress to build up like you're going to explode. You know, take a little bit. Sometimes you just need to take just a little, tiny little breather, even if it's, you know, 10 minutes for a little indulgence of a cup of hot coffee or uh, hot chocolate, whatever your, whatever your vice is. You just de-stress a little bit. And then I think the most important thing in this kind of fulfilling our hierarchy of needs and being a whole person is forgiveness uh, and forgiveness of yourself. I, sh I sh maybe I was ready to forgive myself for having to throw some of those turkey breasts away if I couldn't get them all cooked before my trip. <laughs> but you know, this is it sounds silly, but that's the kind of thing some women think about when you're laying in bed at night. Oh, I've got to do this. I got to. You're not going to be able to get it all done. So learn. Learn to accept that and forgive yourself for those things that you don't. Another thing about getting the, the personal stuff right is outsourcing. I have a colleague who's excellent at this. I don't know really all of her secrets, but I can tell you uh, we don't live in a big city. She lives in a small town, so it's not like she's going to have the green grocer show up at her door, but she's paid somebody to take care of her dry cleaning. Somebody delivers her groceries for her. Uh, she was getting, she's got a very busy job. She's getting ready to move, and I thought, oh my gosh, how is she going to get that done? She says, oh, and I paid some people, and they're helping me pack my stuff up. And, you know, if you can't pay for the dry cleaners, it makes me sick to do that when I could do it myself. But just, if you, some, a friend said to me one time, if the problem can be solved with money, it's not a problem. <laughs> okay? Think about that. It's very true. And I already have my outsourcing planned for my Christmas baking. I finally concluded I am no good at that. And uh, my daughter has a friend who now does baking on the side and I've already got lined up for beautiful Christmas cookies. And then finally, a uh, final little note there on getting the personal stuff right is the idea of a ledger. You know, there's, I kind of try to keep a little mental running list of my family wins, my company wins. And some days, Caterpillar's gonna win. They're gonna get the, the bulk of me. Other days, my family's gonna win, and I might spend a little bit more time there and, and uh, cheat a little bit on the work side. Maybe cheating that day, but in the aggregate, given, giving quite a bit.